Hello, and welcome back to Spot Hidden. I'm your keeper of arcane lore, Hudson Hubbard, and tonight we're back with Octum Cthulhu. So, now help me welcome my soldiers into the fray. Welcome back, guys. How was our week? It was good. Oh, it's great. Hey. Trevor, you doing well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was yeah, yeah. I was good. I was in Panama City last weekend. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, got Smart to drink day. beer on the beach. It was so fun. Matt, how about you? Um, yeah. So I, I existed. That was a great time. Uh, yeah, yeah. Perfect, Carly. Um, how was your? I week? don't remember what I did. Oh my gosh! Everybody was just partying. It seems like. <laughs> That's a good oh, week. I went, <laughs> I went to Douglas Full and went to Joanne's and made shorts that say Delft Patrol. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, does anybody want to give a recap of what happened last time, or would you like me to do the honors? Ooh. Okay. I know you like doing this, Matt. So why don't I just give you the honors? Oh, thank you, thank you, honey. Okay. <clears throat> break it down first episode of octung now i've seen it like several times because i made material for it uh which means very watching good material. It. anyway <laughs> um so we meet everyone we're all dragged into this dude's like tent or something some military guy I spoke with a posh british accent or something i don't know how he spoke but it was different uh than what i use usually hear which is wild so he tells us like hey germans are doing some crazy shit dog uh, and we're like, mm -mm. and he's like, they are, we swear. So we're going to drop you out of this plane and then you're going to like hit the ground, but we have a, like a, like silk stuff over top of you. And it's going to like make it easier to fall. And then we fell, we got to the bottom. We walked, we followed a deer to a pub. That was the craziest shit right there. Uh, we get to the town beforehand and it was just a bunch of, de it wasn't actually deer people. It was normal people. But then they were like, uh, uh, let's not look at them because they look the same as us because we had disguises on, right? So we get to the pub and we meet James Bond. Wait, which, and then James Bond was like, James hey, Bond, go to the castle. Which James the Bond? The Sean Connery James yes, Bond. the Sean Connery James Bond. How often do you meet the Sean Connery James Bond? So we meet him and he's like, oh, I can't do the Sean Connery. Anyway, he's like, uh, Mr. Go, Wayne. Go. No, I thought that was Alfred. <laughs> I was going to help. That's then I realized I was being Mr. Alfred. Mr. Wayne. <laughs> Mr. Um, Wayne. <laughs> And he's like, hey, remember what that captain told you to do? You got to go to that castle and, like, take out the German material uh, uh, equipment. And this one this one officer, dude, because he's a bad dude, you know? That's how the Nazis were. Bad people. Uh, and so we get there, and we take a ski lift up, and there's this dude sitting there at the controls just... And we were like, to the radio. At least uh, Pinky was. And then we get inside, uh, and, and then Carly's character... Anushka Thank you. meets the officer and he's like, never be too careful. And uh, and she's like and doesn't say anything. And then Stone goes BAM at the window. And that's where we left off. And that is Basically where... I'm bad at lying. <laughs> yes. And that is where we come <sighs> in at. We have the window blown through by the shotgun blast. And this was Pinky who made the shotgun blast, correct? No, no, Stone, no Haze. Stone. Stone Haze. I got the Tommy gun. Right, right, right. Stone Haze makes the shotgun blast through the window. Stone Haze, I need to give you, or you need to give me a luck roll, please. A luck roll? Yes. 21 for three, hard success. I'll take it to kick this off. Excellent. Roll real quick. that oh what's going on all right oh no perfect so you so the shotgun blasts through the window and the two german soldiers that were occupying the room with the field marshal and dragomir the one to the right gets obliterated on the side but he's still standing everybody let's roll for decks Okay. All right. So you have three enemies in the room. That's a thirty-three eighty hard success. I believe we're just rolling to get our decks, right? Okay, cool. I don't know how 
Yeah, Dex Order. I forget how combat works in this sometimes, I'm going to be honest. <laughs> 8150. Yeah, so Anushka's got 80, Pinky is at 50, and Stone is at 60. Okay. So 80, 50, and 60. All right, so Dragomir, yeah. you will go first, and then it will be the Field Marshal, followed by Pinky. Or no, 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 no. It'll be Dragomir first, then it'll be uh, Stone Haze, then it'll be the Field Marshal, then Pinky, and then the two soldiers will follow. Okay, so I said that I had, like, dropped to the floor when I heard the shotgun go off. Right. Um. So I'm going to, while I'm on the floor, I'm going to, like, come back up and draw my pistol. I have it written down. Hold on, let me pull up what I have. Okay, well, will you do that? The setting for the audience right now, what we're kicking off in, we're standing, Pinky and Stone are out in the hallway. They've just stripped down to their weapons. They're ready to go. There's two frosted pieces of glass that are, you know, I would imagine body length on either side of this wooden door. Stone just blew through one with buckshot and hit mm -hmm. a guard on the other side. There's two guards next to the captain or the uh, field marshal inside and Nushka on the uh, other side of the desk. But... Both of the guards are still walking, though. So you have two, I guess, goons and one boss. Right. All okay. Right. I'm going to draw my pistol, and when I come back up over the desk at the field marshal, I just want to take a shot at him. Okay. Um, and it's a Nagant. Nagant? Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Nagant. It's the one that knows guns? Yep, that's Nagant. it. You got it. It's a M1895. It's a seven-round revolver. Perfect. So. Uh, that's an 82-80 failure. <laughs> okay. And I don't have enough luck to spend two points just to shoot this man. So, so. as you come up, <laughs> pulling that revolver, at, and you're shooting at the field marshal, correct? Yeah. As you point it at the field marshal, because of the, the heat that is coming into the room and that's about to disperse the room, you shoot that revolver, not really looking and aiming, but just hoping for the best, and it misses and breaks the window that's directly behind the uh, field marshal going outside. Should have right. looked for that window in the first place and sniped him through the motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yes, there is a, a window directly behind the field marshal. And I'm just going to swear in Russian. And, yeah. <laughs> Perfect. All right, so Bad. next is our good friend. And duck back down under Pinky. the desk. <laughs> no. uh, Stone Haze. Stone many... Haze. <laughs> well, uh, real quick, Anushka, how many attacks did you have with that gun? Uh, it says now two I attacks. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's... I don't fight in these games normally. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that is I'm... true. If you would like to make one more attack, you may. Okay, I want to try to do that. Okay. Because I have seven shots, so... All right. That's a 1980 hard success, and that's oh. seven damage. There it is. There right. you go. Perfect. So I'm going to write down just on a sheet of paper how many when I have to reload. So you said seven damage? Yes. Okay. I've lost my notebook. All right, so with this second shot, Dragomir gives off. It shoots the field marshal in the left, sh or the right shoulder, or the left shoulder. I bet I'm messed up because of the, uh, the, you and of the camera. You enjoy everything's <laughs> different. So yeah. uh, he, he gets hit in the left shoulder and goes, ah! And he goes to reach for his Luger in his side uh, sidearm pocket. So now we have Stone Haze. And uh, go ahead and subtract uh, two bullets from that um, revolver. Just just keep be aware that you've... Yeah. Now. Do I have unlimited yeah. ammo? Like, I just have to reload? Uh, yes. Okay, cool. So for this, yeah, for I got this, it. For uh, this mission, yes. Cool, I got tally marks. All right, Stone Is Haze. That, uh, the tutorial mission? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh... I spent a shell bursting through this glass. Uh, sleeves rolled up. Ithaca on that strap around his back there. And he is going to... Uh, um, so you, as you enter, you have a guard on the left and one on the right. The one on the right has already been shot. But he's still... Yeah, he's not too worried about the one on the left. Uh... So he's going to come out to the same target he's been shooting at with that Ithaca, that shotgun of his. Okay. And 66, 60. So we're going to do it's one or two attacks. So we're going to go for a second attack here. Okay. Um, for 44, 
versus 60 success for 10 damage. Perfect. Under 10 yards. You uh you blow this guy's leg off with this shotgun as you see this German soldier <laughs> fall to the ground, but he's still alive, barely. <laughs> All right. Just fucking spit on him, he'll die. <laughs> if, if you have acid for my, spit, uh, that will work. Just get reptile. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, he, <laughs> it, it's actually tobacco, but it's the same thing. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, so Stone Haze, that was all of your uh, shots, correct? All right, yep. so now we go to Pinky. Actually, no, the Field Marshal. The Field Marshal is going to roll real quick. Poor Pinky. It's okay. It's okay. I like how this is going. Let's see. All right. Pull that up. All right. So the field marshal, as he gets shot in the shoulder by Dragomir, he pulls out his luger and aims it for Dragomir. Yeah, that's fair. It's entirely valid. Did you mean to roll a d20? No, I have everything set up on my other laptop, so... Oh, shit. All right, so the field marshal fails his roll. It's a 46 versus a 38, so no. Hell yeah. So the field marshal shoots, and it goes past Dragomir's ear. And that is the field marshal's roll. Fuck this dude. (laughs) Now it is your turn, Pinky. Do we need to keep him alive? Nope. Nah. Okay. All right, let's uh, shoot the field marshal with my Tommy gun that I had at the ready. Perfect. it would be all right. Yeah. So be all right. Are you, you going to... I don't know if you'll be all right. Field marshal's up what? here. What? Field Awareness of surroundings. Here. Awareness Jack of surroundings. down there, you know? Like... Are you going to shoot him? It's not him? that. It's not that. It's not... Anyway. Are you going to unload... Has- all your rounds on them, or are you gonna just do a burst? I'll do. I'll do a. I'll do like a ten round burst, okay. like a like a nine or like three bursts, I guess, because a burst isn't three, right? That's textbook a burst. Yeah, three or four. Then sure, I'll do I like, know what guns are. I'll do like three bursts, which would be nine bullets. Right. That was four, but yes. Yeah, that one. Okay, so just, uh, go to your combat settings and yep, and then click that. the to- yep, click the Thompson tower. Uh, okay, so that was one. Do I do it again, or do I? Um, if or is that it? So let's see. Yes. By the way, I'm at a hard success, everybody. 24 versus 50. Yay! Perfect. So, yes, if you'll roll it one more time, and then when you roll it this next time, if you'll hit the um, penalty button below it. One more time. Failure. I can oh. burn a luck point, right? Uh, you may. Sweet. How do I do that? Well, yeah, you have that... to do a penalty die. Oh, so yeah. it may be first worse first do the that. penalty die, and let's see. Yeah, no. That's going to... Oh. Huddy, we're gone. That was our penalty. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Give us one that second real quick. Perfect timing. I, I shot out the cameras. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's try this again. And we're back. And I got every back, everybody back in. So thank you all for being patient with us. Here we go. Let's get back into the fray. Welcome back, everybody. All right. Hello. So hey. where did we last <laughs> leave off before that conundrum? Was it I was you, shooting the guy. You, yes, you were shooting the guy with the Tommy gun. And you're shooting your second round after giving the first round seven points of damage to one of the German soldiers. Or was it the field marshal? Field marshal. Field marshal. Okay, perfect. He was pointing the Luger at the the Russian. All right. And so then you rolled your second um, shot, and it was a failure, though, correct? Yes. 81 versus 50. Okay. 51 versus 50. Yes, but with the the penalty, penalty, it becomes, you see that eight? You replace yeah. that five on the fifty-one with the eight, and so it's eighty-one versus fifty. 
Mm, don't like that. Yeah. Nope. No one does. <laughs> um, <laughs> <terrible. Okay. laughs> Can you look on your weapon and see what the uh, malfunction is? Uh, 96. 96. Okay, you're good. Okay. Okay, so um, you get that first shot off, and it's seven points of damage, and then you realize, oh, crap, I got to change the clip. There's not enough uh, bullets for some reason in there. You forgot to load it all the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> I'd say you just missed, but that too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, the, yeah, this now funny. these are the two uh, German second, soldiers. So the, like... the one on the floor who's gotten his leg blown off and half of his uh, torso, kind of just a chunk of it's just missing from this first shotgun blast that went through the window. He pulls out his Luger and he starts to aim it at Stone Haze for revenge. And I that one's going to be a failure. And the ah. one to the left um, is going to aim for Pinky. And the hey. brain, 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 brain. All right. And that is a success. Yoink! And this guy is uh, using a Carbiner 98K. So mm. he'll be shooting for uh, 2D8s. That's a high resolution. It Hard. really is. I thought we were only a 4K. <laughs> ah, hit points. Okay. All right. So that's thirteen points of damage to Pinky. Uh, which which side of hit points do I edit? Left. Left side. Left side. Yeah. yeah. And now we're back <laughs> to uh, Dragomir, as this All right. German soldier pulls out this rifle and shoots Pinky. Where does it hit you, Pinky? Mm, well, I have uh, six hit points left, so it's probably like it's probably somewhere in the torso. <laughs> uh, I'm probably bleeding <laughs> really uh, well, badly. I, I don't believe we've been calculating armor. Do we have armor? I didn't bring any armor. I didn't Did bring armor with this traditional dress. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> bring any armor? <laughs> I'm a sniper. Uh, I don't wear armor about, like, Steel plate armor. <laughs> 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 not anything that vest. would uh, underneath. Not the... anything that would stop a rifle. Yeah, no, you're you have no armor. <laughs> yeah, it hurts. Underneath the German um... garb, uh, uh, Stone actually brought a full medieval set. Yeah. Uh, that's from so House Hayes. Know. It's the the knight. Yeah, yeah. The armor yeah. House Hayes. Yes. All right. So Dragon right. is your go. Yeah, I'm going to whirl around. I hear that rifle shot go off behind me, and I'm going to whirl around and pop two shots at um, the one who just shot the rifle. Go right. without me. Because that is a bigger threat right now. First one is 6580 success for one whole damage. Okay. And then the second shot is... Oh, fuck. It's a malfunction. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. so... Ooh. <laughs> <dang yum>. Ooh. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, that's for the chat. Uh, that's 100 versus 80 failure. Ooh. That's a critical think, failure. Uh, I've never seen that before. I Russian, haven't either. <laughs> Russian ingenuity. It would have been eight damage <laughs> if it succeeded. Okay, so you shoot. So you're shooting at the guy with the rifle, correct? Yes. All right, so this German gets hit on the side of the ear with this uh, Nagat pistol from Russia. Ah, yeah. He swings to where the the bullet came from, aiming at Dragomir. And Dragomir, with the second shot, aims at this German soldier and then clicks. Click. Click. Nothing. The gun's jammed. You have to work All on right. it when you're out of uh, action to uh, get it to work again. You won't be able to use it the rest of this round. I literally just googled how to say fuck in Russian. Um, <laughs> hold on. Would you like to give us a... It is Bliet! 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 I'm just gonna yell Bliet! <laughs> we play video games. <laughs> yeah, that's right! <laughs> oh, this way. Oh there my go. gosh, I'm not, All right. I'm not contributing Hayes, this. You Matt fist bump. <laughs> Matt fist bump. Oh wait. Danny says that in COC, 100 on the die is a zero crit success. Zero to 99. Okay. We always did it as 100. I mean, roll 20 shows it as 100, so I'm fine taking that failure. That's just something interesting that I didn't know. 
Okay, yeah, we, we did not know that, and thank you for that. Um, we will keep that in mind next time. But we're just yeah. going to keep that uh, yeah. the way it is for right now. Um, Stone Haze, if you would like to go. And thank you. Thank you to the Initiative Order for being out there and helping us. Especially me, first time. Yeah, thank uh, you, Danny. Anything, so thank yeah. You. <clears throat> right. Okay, so. Um, Keeper, I will ask. So, both the 357 and the Ithaca that Stone carries both have a maximum of two uses. There's three with the Magnum and two with the Ithaca. So, I'd like to ask of you. Uh, if I can exchange those, so one with the Ithaca, and then allow him to whip out that 357. So you're saying you want to dual wield? No, no, no. He'll fire that last shot off and then pull out the pistol. Yeah. Okay, I'll allow it. Are you, so shotgun, are you aiming at discard. one target, or are you aiming at two targets? Uh... Carly, who'd you... Okay, you shot at the uh, other soldier? I shot at the one with the rifle. Uh, it may be two targets, yeah. Remember, you have the guy on the ground who is bleeding out, but is still aiming with his Luger. You have the German to your left who has the rifle, and you still have the field marshal that is close to uh, Dragomir. Okay. Uh, this is a tricky situation. Then what we'll do is uh, pull up this Ithaca and fire it at the uh, field marshal first. And this will be the last shell in the uh, Ithaca, which 4260 success for 16 damage under 10 yards. Okay, and who's this going to? Uh, to the field marshal. And as you hit the field marshal, the field marshal looks down. Ah, and his chest has a huge hole in it. Ha! And he backs up <laughs> and goes straight through the window. Hell yes. <laughs> into the snow. Just like that motherfucker in the lovely bones. <laughs> <laughs> now, you still have this German soldier on your left and the German soldier down the ground on the right. Did you Here do I that second roll? With you. Okay, yeah, so that, that was the last shell. I do have fast load, uh, which ignores any sort of penalty for loading and firing. Okay. But uh, using all of these uh, advantages, he is going to let the shotgun fall to his side on that on that uh, strap, pull out his three fifty seven, and take a shot at the uh, soldier that's still standing for now. Okay. Oh, Jesus shit! Christ. That's a 9 versus 60 extreme success. Uh, under How 20 yards damage? for 12 damage of, ex of extreme damage there. Perfect. Plus the normal damage, right? Yes. If that's true, then 15 total damage. <laughs> How do you want to kill this guy? <laughs> uh... A hole is blown through the field marshal. He falls out to the, down to the snow. The strap tugs as the shotgun falls out, but before it can even reach that bottom, that that uh, the maximum tension, that pistol is out, hammer back, and fires one round off uh, through the chest of this other soldier. And the German soldier looks down and falls. He's dead. <laughs> now you have this German soldier who has one of his legs blown off because of the shotgun. He has a side of his torso blown off because of the shotgun. He's down on the ground bleeding out. And I believe it is it's all yours, Pinky. Pinky's turn. Guys, I have a, a, a I have six hit points left. Um, I'm pretty sure <laughs> what, what Pinky did is after he got shot, he went back to the other side of the door on the wall and is like... <sighs> Ah. Ah. <laughs> oh, All right. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I'm not taking the shot. I'm 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 hurting pretty bad. That's that's right, gonna be somebody else. Like to do um. 
hold the wound? <laughs> Stop bleeding? <laughs> you can give yourself first aid, is what I'm getting at. Yeah. Um, well, once we're out of combat, you'll be able to give yourself first aid. Yeah, but I can't really do it right now, right? Because right. we're still in combat. Right. Right. Okay. So, skip. For a story purpose, skip. So I'm okay with doing nothing right now. You don't want to <laughs> yeah. shoot. Like, you don't want to make... shoot the German soldier who's pretty much dying on the ground. It wouldn't make sense, I guess, in the in the story, in the scheme of things. It's not like I want to be like, you know, like with, okay. with, while bleeding out. Okay. I, I think yeah. I'll just I'll just take a hit and like I need I need a minute, guys. Pretty You're sure that's for, what the bear for... Jew did. I need a minute. <laughs> okay. Speaking's and... character essentially takes a step back. He's he's not well. Yeah. <laughs> like, I need well. a minute. Okay, All right. Sounds it. good. So this German soldier is going to roll. He's going to be aiming at Stone Haze now. And that is a failure. That's a got for me. So now we go back to Dragomir. All right. Um, I have at this point discarded the um. Well, I haven't discarded, but I've like shoved my um pistol, my revolver, back into its little holster. Um, can I use my rifle at this range? Yes. Oh, yes. Of course. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna swing that sucker around because it's strapped to my back. Okay. Uh, I'm going to swing it around, take aim at the remaining guy, and just okay. pop him. Please roll. Uh, critical success, one versus 80. That is for, uh, let me do some quick math, 34 damage. 24 damage, sorry. Only 24? 24. 24. Would it be, Carly, would it be what's weird going on? if I said uh, this guy's still not dead? Uh, <laughs> 24 <laughs> damage? No, you you obliterated this one. guy. How do you want to kill him? I want to just like whirl around and just take a shot straight through his skull like right in the middle of his forehead and almost Carly, like you're... in slow motion this bullet comes out of this <laughs> russian sniper rifle and it goes through this room as this german soldier's eyes just get wide and it goes straight between the eyes and out the back the room is cleared say... the fear the field marshal is out on the snow banks below the castle I'm just going to say, why the fuck did I not use that in the first place? <laughs> you did a 100 versus 80, and then immediately after did a 1 versus 80. Yes, correct. You did Because the universe felt bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> On both sides. <laughs> the universe felt bad for me. <laughs> so. That's funny. Uh, Want to shoot him again, Dragon? Okay, he might have... He might not... Ah... Uh... <laughs> I'm still dying. Someone kind of gives him. <laughs> okay. What is our? You can get in here. I can't. I hurt. It Stone hurts. would like to go out and grab Pinky's collar and drag him into the room. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> While he's doing that, I'll be inspecting the desk. And uh, I'll go ahead and set Pinky down in one of the chairs. And uh, am I good for a first aid roll, Keeper? Yes. Um. Carly, why don't you give me a spot hidden? Hell yeah. And Matt, if you'll give me a first aid roll for Trevor. Pinky. That's so much. That is oh, a 31. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. The <laughs> Trevor, that was a failure, but uh, also pro tip, you can also double down on that yourself. as uh, your, How do uh, I double down? How do I do that? It's, I'm just, it's, that's my own phrasing. You just hit first aid on yourself. Yes. <laughs> it's not going to be any better. Nope. <laughs> I made it worse. <laughs> okay, so both of y'all are looking at this wound, and y'all both know it, it's a very dangerous wound, and that both of y'all really don't have the expertise to deal with it. So that means Pinky only has a short amount of time to be extract out of this, this castle and get onto that plane that uh, Commander Bond has um, secretly uh, gotten and is holding at the airfield for extraction of the team. And Carly makes a success with the spot hidden while she is yeah. looking at this desk. So you're looking at the field marshal's desk. On the desk, you will see a, a picture frame of the field marshal. Um, the picture uh, depicts the field marshal in his uh, German regalia. Um, and it's just him by himself. He has no 
uh, pictures of family or anything. There's a lot of articles on the uh, desk, a lot of maps and blueprints, uh, another blueprint of the tiger tank that is held below the um, surface of the castle somewhere. Does anybody else want to give me a uh, spot hidden roll? <clears throat> yeah, Stone will take a glance around here. Uh, it also comes with a bonus die for a 12 versus 35. Jesus, you got lucky. I sure did. <laughs> That's why I took that whole skill. And with that uh, For 12... those confused, with that... <clears throat> I can... Uh... Go ahead, sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. With that 12 versus 35, <clears throat> uh, you look up after trying to help Pinky. And you see something that catches your eye on the table. You've never really seen something like this before, but you know it's very unique. And what you find is kind of a small uh, controller. It kind of looks like a, a garage door controller uh, in modern term ling lingo. Um, but it's a kind of a box, a small box with a couple of uh, buttons and switches on it and a small antenna. <clears throat> so we'll pick it up and uh, <clears throat> uh, while you're bleeding out Pinky you know anything about this mm, well, it's a uh, small box antenna it's got switches on it what else about the switches what did the switches look like so there's a green and red switch um, and there's just a small little joystick lever also right beside both of those Mm, okay, can I roll something to figure out more about it? Sure. Let me see here. Can I roll? You give me an education mm -hmm. roll, please. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm not good on education. Good on no. intelligence. Okay. Ah, good. It don't it's matter. 18 versus, hey. 18 versus 50. I love when that happens when you're like, ah, I'm not very good on this. And then, of course, it's a hard <laughs> success. So you will know that this is, a, right. this is an elevator controller. The figured. Uh, yeah, Stone, let's say uh, that's an elevator um, that's, it controls the elevator. Ah, the, the green would probably go up and the red would go down. Or the green would start it, the red would stop it. The joystick uh, makes it go up and down. There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, well, congratulations, Pinky. <laughs> You've been promoted to operator. <clears throat> so you I'm hold on dying. to that right there. <laughs> it hurts I want so much. about that. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Dragomir, would you like to help our friend here? Uh, I am no better at it than you are. And I'm like hanging my head out the window looking for uh, the field marshal to make sure he's dead. Okay. Uh, um, give me a spot hidden, please. Uh, failure, 76, 75. I'm spending a singular <laughs> luck point. Mm. Yeah, that's a 75 success. <laughs> As you look down, uh, all you see is the, the fog that has set in around the kind of moat of the castle, um, even though the moat has iced over. Um, below, you kind of see uh, a small dark object kind of laying on this icy moat that surrounds the castle. He's I dead, Dragomir. Are we sure? Yeah, did you see the fucking hole? Now, if you'd be so kind. You are supposed to confirm kills, but all right. Did you see the I confirmed the hole? hell out of that. Right, right after it happened. <laughs> I'll um, start trying to apply first aid to Pinky. Thank okay. you. That's a seventeen thirty success. Thank you. <laughs> I know. As, I, as I'm like bandaging him, I want to say, um, now what proof do we have that we have killed him? Uh, removal of many organs is my scientific analysis. Yes, but do we not need to bring something back to prove that we completed our mission? You wanted to cut his head off? Well, no, I'm not exactly a barbarian. Uh, I'm not saying that. I'm saying a metal something. All right, well, take your pick. Um, and real quick, Pinky, you get two points of health back. Great. That's eight, eight I did my points best. left. But, you know, <laughs> I, I should be mobile now. We'll say I'm mobile now. 
I'll Thank grab you. the plans off the desk. Uh, let me hold on to this remote. You operate whatever an operator operates, and stand behind us. Got it. What the blueprints? Let me. Can I see those blueprints? Sure. What are they? It is it the like uh, blueprints the of the tiger tank. I can take you back uh, to them real quick. On the roll okay. twenty, <laughs> we would like to take a trip there. And boom, there is the Tiger 1E. There it yeah. is. Yeah. I already know where we're all going to sit. <laughs> we're supposed to destroy them. Right, we're supposed to destroy them. <laughs> all right. That was, I was completely going to, to suggest we destroy them and not joyride them. Nope. Sorry, no. right. Never. No. All right. So I'm we that we know they are in Incredible underground design. facility. So your elevator remote will get us down there. Right, let's go. Uh Stone lead the way. Fantastic. Uh Stone would like to uh reload and Yes. He racks that last shell and uh <clears throat> puts his foot up and attempts to kick open the door. Um, as you are doing all of this, um Pinky, is there any way you can fix this? And I hand over my revolver. <laughs> oh, I know well, how to fix it myself, but it might take more time than you doing it. Hmm. Let me see if I know how to fix it. Uh, I'm assuming it would be mechanical repair, which is why I'm giving it to you. <laughs> yes, it would be a mechanical repair. Yeah, there's my mechanical. Yeah, I could probably take a quick look at it. Can I take a look, quick look at it, Keeper? Yes, you may. Oh, 46 hell yeah. Versus 50. <laughs> 46 versus 75. So, yeah, it was this pin was out. You see? Uh, mm. There you Thank go. You. <laughs> and Pinky and I'm gonna... quickly disassembles the... Uh, this is a revolver, correct? Yes. Disassembles the revolver, uh, cleans it a little bit, and puts it back together and hands it to Dragomir. <laughs> and now it's good to go. You may reuse it and load it back up if you want. Perfect. Wish. Yeah, I'm putting seven bullets in it, and then I'm reloading my sniper. It was only missing one, but I still want to have a full um, whatever. When we go, clipazine. A clipazine? A clipazine. Clipazine. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> that was the first time I've heard that. For the revolver, a clipazine for yeah, the revolver. Yeah, yeah, yeah the revolver. Right. A clipazine. <laughs> you spin the clipazine. Uh, All right. All right. <laughs> And Matt, you're high capacity. Like a, it's a high capacity. Yeah, yeah. So we're at uh, Stone Haze is reloading uh, his weapons, and Pinky, you're still holding on. Are you reloading your weapons at all? Um, yeah, oh, I got so much stuff carrying around in my hands. Like I got the elevator thing. You know what? No, I'm gonna pack up my Thompson typewriter back in my violin case. Okay. Put throw that over my with my pack, and then I'm gonna carry around a Luger in my right hand and the. The elevator control in my left hand. Okay. Can everybody give me a listen roll, please? Yes. Hard success, 2460. I ain't yeah. hear shit. Mm -mm. Perfect. Mm -mm. Um, so, as all of y'all are uh, gathering your stuff and loading, uh, Stone Haze and Pinky are chatting. While Dragomir, with the hard success, down the hall hears one of the German soldiers close by go, Alarm! Okay. And an I'm alarm say. begins to sound. I had to back away from the mic because I didn't want that to be. Yeah, no, that's valid. You know, that's smart. <laughs> You're good. You're good. Uh, keep it real quick. Those two corpses um, of the two uh, guards, are they equipped with any sort of explosive? Give me a spot hidden. You got it. Who? Thirty-three oh, versus thirty-five success. That is I king love of that clutch. Bonus die. And as you look, uh, the one who has his leg blown off and one of his uh, chunks of his torso blown off and a bullet hole in the middle of his eyes. Yes, you find two stick grenades yeah. on him. Steel hand could not. Um, great. Um, in that case, I will look up keeper if you'd like the damages for those. Yes, uh, the damage is a four d six. 
Sheesh. Oh, you got it. Sheesh. Um, yeah, uh, he'll take a couple of those, stick them in his belt, and uh, uh, I, I don't... Have we heard... Uh, have you notified us? Um, I'll say we need to me? move. We've been found. Yeah, about damn time. And at this moment, you start hearing... And, uh, <laughs> don't they lead the way. They a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was a good mix between it. Yeah, yeah. It was very good. Uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> well, that means party time, and we're going to attempt to kick this door down and uh, wonderful get one of these stick grenades ready. <laughs> Okay, so where... Even are though you? this window's open, yeah, yeah, Okay, so you're still in the study, and you're just kicking the door down? Uh, open, yeah, yeah. Okay. We're going full action here. I mean, we're on the inside of the study, so, like... The door probably opens inwards. Yeah. For fire hazard oh, he didn't. Know. He's going for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. It'll look cool. <laughs> That's all that matters. It and will. As he's Stone not Haze <laughs> kicks down the door, notifying anybody in the surrounding area in the hallway of their presence. Stone Haze looks out into the hallway just to scope out the Jesus. area to see. There's no one around. Ah. Stone, we uh, gotta go left. They must have been scared by, by that door coming down. So, yeah, left. All right. Where are they going if they sounded an alarm and they're not? Fuck, they're getting the tanks, aren't they? Wait a minute. Well, uh, let's move, guys. Let's Yeah, move. I'm running out the door as I'm saying this. Fuck it. All right. <laughs> and, uh, okay. I'm right behind Stone. So to the left, correct? Yes, okay. correct. We're going to the left out of the study. Okay. Yes, and then an immediate right into that big chamber, into the central chamber. Okay. As you enter the central chamber, it's a very, very big room, um, almost probably uh, 25 yards in uh, length. Uh, this room contains uh, a, two long tables, almost uh, medieval, uh, with many chairs in these. Uh, this room, uh, you could probably believe that this is where they might do some of their meetings, and probably where they eat their lunch and dinner, and possibly breakfast and second breakfast. But there are also uh, swastika flags along the the walls and there is a, a very large uh, ceremonial throne at the end of the uh, chamber gross see if your remote works all right i press the green button and i hold down on the joystick and as this happens the you feel a, a tremble in the ground and, and where are y'all located right now in the room? Probably just inside the door. Perfect. So as you look, yeah. the, the tables, the long tables, are on each side of the, uh, the long room. And this allows access for the floor to open up as this very large elevator comes up out of the ground and sits right here. What do you do? I think that's where we're supposed to go. Oh, Lord, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this is cool. This is wireless uh, technology. <laughs> very quickly, do any of you have a lighter? Oh, I do. I Wait, or did I give it to Stone? Did uh, I give this on the way lighter? out? Yeah, here you go, Dragomir. Assuming we get out the same way, we'll need this on the way out. Well, it's all yours. All right. I'm just going to stick it in my pocket. I'll give this back. Don't lose it. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> All right, we on the elevator? I'm lighter. <laughs> yeah. So you're running and getting uh, on the I'm elevator. I'm on the elevator. All right, perfect. So you're yes. standing on the elevator as the alarms are going off. Pinky, are you sending the elevator down or up? Because you also notice at this point that the elevator can rise, that there are four... Uh, beams that support the elevator to let it rise above, and all you see right now is the uh, what believes what you believe to be the roof. Guys, let's go down. Yeah, this will be <laughs> us. Okay. All right. Okay. And so, 
as the agents of KP go down below Castle Hammerstein, they are uh, met with a kind of a earthy smell. They start seeing these muddy rocks, and it begins to get dark and darker and darker, and that's when the spotlight on the elevator turns on. Oh, and now it illuminates all three of our agents. I'm Let's getting this, the rifle ready. Okay. Can I step out of the spotlight? <laughs> um, not, Is it that easy? Not really. It's it's actually no, okay. the, okay, the so, elevator. <laughs> I just keep going down. <laughs> I, I like your thinking. It's very uh, what, Tom Where's Clancy. the rifle? <laughs> Where's the prototype rifle? Uh, Here it is. <laughs> oh, boy. Nice. Oh, yeah. Is that paper? Getting there? No, it's a uh, foam board. It's the foam board. <laughs> it will be. Stonehenge, are you doing one. anything? Are you preparing? Uh, I mean, he's obviously got his hand, at, you know, his uh, shotgun at the ready, but what, what are we seeing? Are we still descending? You're still descending. All you really see is rock formations and stuff as you go down below the castle. Then, uh, uh, you've been in a spotlight. No, you know how hard it is to see everything around you when a light's glaring at you. <laughs> Exactly. And then we hear, hold, please. I and guess so we just wait. <laughs> <laughs> and the elevator <laughs> begins to get closer. And then you see the mouth of this entrance into this cave, pretty much. And as the elevator drops, it stops. Slowly and gently. But it does make sort of a, a clanking noise. Um roll real quick. All right, we're good. You've not been alerted. Huh. But you will go to your roll 20. I'm going to show what you probably are seeing right now. Great. Oh no, this is awkward. I didn't add that to the roll 20, so I get to describe it. So this is going to be fun. Cool. All right, so <laughs> the, set the mouth of, of the... this entrance opens up into this cave that has been um, lit up with this modern day technology called the light bulb. <laughs> and now you notice that it is the factory. Can everybody give me a spot hidden roll, please? Yeah. We notice it was what now? It is the a factory. factory. Ooh. Please. Ah, 5375 success. Perfect. We got a hard oh, success. Oh, shit. Perfect. Matt. Uh, we'll take that three versus 35. <laughs> so Stone Haze is kind of still <laughs> looking at the mouth of this entrance. He's kind of never really seen such a very beautifully uh, crafted... Um, opening in a cave before. For some reason, he finds that interesting. Um, but Dragomir notices that there's an assembly line, a very large assembly line um, that is kind of turned off, but she notices that there are a lot of mechanical parts uh, that look to be like tank pieces. Pinky, with his engineering mind, notices the top of one of the tiger tanks in the middle of the factory. I noticed the top of the tiger tank in the middle of the factory. Yeah, so it's it's covered. There's a lot of boxes and cargo um, cargo containers throughout the factory and stuff. So with your uh, height and everything, all you see is the top. So you see the 88 millimeter uh, gun on it and the, the tank uh, top. Cool. I'm going to say, come on, guys. There it is. Let's go. I'm going to start running towards it. I'm going to grab him by the like <laughs> collar. No. <laughs> you, well, it's right there. <laughs> you are injured. Oh. You are right. very injured. Can everybody just give me excited. a listen roll, please? A lot yeah, of listening and spot ask. hidden rolls going on. Uh, 50, 60 success. Failure. 41, 20 failure. Dragomir. Off in the distance, possibly from the outside uh, and high above the elevation that y'all have reached now, you hear an explosion go off. 
I'm going to say, I think I found out what the alarm does. <laughs> Something just exploded, <laughs> possibly above us. Off in the distance, we need to move quickly. How are we destroying these things? Um, okay, that's me. So <laughs> uh, we need to find explosives or something in the back. They have a weakness in the back right here where the canisters are. That's sort of where like the fuel is stored and where its weakest point is. If they have fuel, can we simply shoot the canisters, cause them to ignite? Not necessarily. Uh, you would really need to have some sort of a ignition or a, a serious spark. Shooting doesn't always work, and it might take a long time. It'd be great if we had some sort of detonator or, or could find some explosives somewhere. There should be plenty around the crates. Stop, right? did you not pick some up? Uh, well, let's just say these are for uh, personal use. I believe our friend here is uh, is correct in saying we should not have a problem finding things of that nature. Fine, I start digging <clears> through <throat> crates. Uh, how many keeper? How many uh, elements are we seeing? How many uh, uh, things are we looking at here that we need to get rid of? Like, uh, are you talking about like containers, like cargo containers, or are you, or are you talking about uh, just? Uh, well, I was yeah, I was gonna get towards enemy uh, enemies right after this, but I'm I'm talking about like what Stone would know as something to rid of for to complete the mission. Tanks. So what what exactly are we destroying here? <laughs> well, you, you have the two tanks um, in this okay. factory. You have spotted the top of one. H have you moved to this tank yet? Uh, no. Uh, All right. So you see the top of this tank. There are about seven cargo containers, um, about the size of a cargo container that you would see on a supply ship, so very large cargo containers. Um, they are all closed. You don't know what's inside of them. Um, and there is a, a large uh, fuel dump tank also um, to the left side of the factory wall. Got it. And do we see any movement? Any live living creatures you do not got it i'll give you oh, that no. and i will also give you you do not hear anything also let's drive the tanks towards the fuel canister that would at least <laughs> make me a little bit happy well let's drive them close to the fuel canister, there. the fuel tank that's over there can and we... then we could blow up the fuel tank we'll, do we we'll not have to, to drive these uh, we'll figure it out yeah shall we Sure. <laughs> uh, Stone it's would easy. like to start approaching this the top of this tank that we've been discussing. I'm going to keep looking for explosives. You do that. All right. And as you get closer to this... I'm a stone. All right, perfect. And, and, and Dragomir is looking for explosives. So we'll go to yes. Stone Haze and Pinky. So as these two agents get closer to the tiger, they also see the next tiger that's sitting right next to it. Both of these tigers are outfitted almost in a camouflage that you would expect to be desert. And both of you don't understand why they would be in desert uh, regalia, even though there isn't a war going on and we're not in the desert. We're in the almost like Alps uh, near Croatia. Trevor knows. I Pinky know. doesn't know, I know but Trevor know. knows. <laughs> Trevor's happy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Arlie's so, confused. Are you are you getting inside or <laughs> are you just looking at the tiger? Yeah, I'm gonna inspect it once over on the outside, and then yeah, I'm going in. Okay. And as you get uh, in, hang on, Pinky. Before you go in, hang yo, on. what? All right. Uh, Stone is gonna verify that he's out of earshot of Dragomir. And uh, all right, listen, Pinky. Now. We both have the same idea, all right? Now, <laughs> in all my years, I've never seen a plane shot down by a fucking tank. So, we'll get rid of one. We keep the other. Just make up a reason. All right. Yeah, we, we got it. All right. Put a brick on the fucking... On, on the Honestly, throttle, whatever. Wait, 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 wait. So, um, we could actually use one of the tanks to destroy the other tank. Exactly. See, now you're thinking the tanks. Can I roll a listen roll? See if I hear this. You may. 1660 hard success. Damn it. <laughs> you hear all of this. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, All right, thank you. We we bring one up on the elevator, we shoot the other one, and then we drive it off the roof or something. So, listen. So, you sit in this tank. I'll drive the other tiger tank towards that fuel drop, that that big tank thing over there. I'm going to park it and then we're going to you're going to drive that tank towards the elevator. We're going to shoot it. Got it? Perfect. Dragon Mirror, we have a plan. Oh, all right. <laughs> do you now? We do. Oh, please right. share. We're going to blow up one tank with the other. Right, and then what do we do with the other tank? Since our mission is well, to destroy them, that were the that was the orders we were given. Oh, it'll be destroyed. We, we, we promise you that. The timeline is a little wonky, but we'll get to that in about three to five business days. Uh, Pinky, if you'd be so kind. Ah, right. So I, gra- I, dr- I get in the other tank, the, the one that doesn't look as cool, uh, and I'm going to back it up towards the fuel drop okay thing. so you're operating this tank right now yes yep. oh my gosh and finally finally <laughs> i can use the role that i've always wanted to use trevor please. drive auto no close <laughs> operate heavy machinery <laughs> no pressure trip no! Oh! <laughs> there's no gas in this tank no <laughs> <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> all right. All right. We need to refuel. All right. How does I climb back out? Uh, hey, make sure that tank's fueled up, Stone. I'm going to go grab uh, a grab a hose. Like a fuel uh, hose. Does this one start, Keeper? You're in the other tank? Yeah. Can you please give me a operate heavy machinery roll, please? 3046 success. And as you flip that switch you hear this large engine begin to rumble and you just feel the tank begin to vibrate and this power beneath you you've never felt it like this before this tank is alive and ready to eat shakes a little bit more than the tractor I'll say (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'll say uh Stone will familiarize himself as uh, he waits on Pinky. And we're going to cut over Dragomir. Dragomir, you're missing out. Yeah. We're going to cover the Dragomir. (laughs) Dragomir, what are you doing? You're looking for explosives, if I'm correct? Yes, that is correct. Are you looking in these cargo holdings, or are you looking somewhere else? Uh, Yeah, I'm going to look in just any sort of container that's around me. Okay, give me a spot hidden, please. Uh, 675 Extreme Success. One of these cargo container doors is actually latched open. You go in, you open the door, and look in, and the light from outside shines in, and you notice about 60 small fuel tanks inside of this cargo. And with that spot hidden, you would probably also believe that all these other the other seven cargo uh, holdings also have that many fuel dumps in them also. Okay. Uh, are they like fuel tanks that I can like carry with my hands? Um, no, you'd probably need two people. Okay. Um, I'll just poke my head out and say, I found the rest of our plan. Um, all of these crates are going to be filled with these fuel tanks. And you could probably also, hear. I'll probably also give you this with that spot hidden. Um, even one lighting of one of those uh, cargo uh, holdings it would uh, decimate pretty much the rest of the uh, cargo containers. So Perfect. All right, so we blow this place to fucking high heaven. Yeah. If we ignite one of these, the entire place will go up. Sounds about right. And uh, Stone would like to start my hose bring his head down and uh sit in the driver's seat and try to pilot this tank to the elevator okay and as you begin to move can you give me a drive auto please oh shit this isn't gonna go well <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> you run over trevor's character and trevor's dead now thank you so much trevor for <laughs> no that's pretty much how it <laughs> happened the first time right. we played Reign of Terror. That's basically how Kristoff died. 
uh, you don't really understand <laughs> how this uh, tank really works. It does kind of look like a tractor the way you would drive a tractor. But you begin uh, to try to drive it forward, but it actually goes backwards. And then you uh, drive it backwards, and it goes forwards. I can tank controls, man. So then you realize how it moves, and you begin to safely move the tank back to the elevator. Slowly. Very <laughs> slowly. Slow, very slow. Very yeah. slowly, yeah. 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 We don't have time. Can you move any faster? Why are you moving it to the elevator? I'll get there. Why are we not just destroying them and then leaving? Dragomir, are, I... you, are you on the tank? No. Let's say you ran and got on the tank. This is how this Okay. <laughs> Can't really okay. hear him. Okay, say, yeah, cool. Tank's pretty loud. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's no way you'd be able to hear him. If the rest are on the tank, I would get on the tank. Okay. I'll right. say that. Pinky, are you on the tank? I'm refueling the other one. I still got to refuel the other one. I got to back it up into that fuel thing okay. so it explodes. I'll, I'll say that you found a hose next to the uh, fuel tanker, the large one next to the uh, left side wall. Yeah. And uh, you've gotten that hose and you've hooked it up to the other one. And it All right, is I'm going to fueling it. Back it up towards the, once it's got enough fuel in it, just turn it on and back it up, up towards the um, the big fuel canister thingy. Uh, so that it can explode properly. All right, there is my question. What is plan? You'll see. <laughs> All right. No, this, that's not going to work. Listen, Dragomir. All You'll right. see. <laughs> the captain told us to blow shit up. Now, in no. certain times, you look for bonus points, and that is exactly what we are doing. There is more shit to blow up outside, so therefore we will ascend to the top of this castle, and we will blow shit up. I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> That's those were not our orders. We were told destroy the tanks, assassinate the field marshal. We have assassinated the field marshal. Now we must destroy the tanks. There is nothing more. Granted, to however, than a minute. <laughs> our friend is down there on the airfield, and there is shit blowing up. So as far as I know, everything else has gone foobar. So if, it, if there is anything we can fix, it is by then blowing it up. So we can assist our new uh, uh, funny speaking friend down there. With tank rounds. Right. When you blow this place up, when you blow this castle completely up, how are we getting out of it? How are we going to get out of the debris? Keeper, am, huh. I, am, I, am I operating the other tank? So I can go and join moment, that conversation? Yes. As this conversation <laughs> okay. is going on, we're going to say that you are <laughs> moving the tank <laughs> near the uh, fuel tank. <laughs> we're yelling very loudly, but only right. where we can hear us, not other people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, once it's in a good parking spot, I'm going to get out and then go into the other tank, into the our, our tank. This is why it's nice to have 70 intelligence. The fact that I'm the only one that realizes if we blow this place up. <laughs> I got high intelligence. I got a ton of uh, intelligence. Keeper, can... Uh, At 90 intelligence. Can Stone deduce the uh, effect that an explosion of this size might have just by kind of analyzing the amount of ordnance in this little basement? Uh, yes, you may. Let me look real quick to see what kind of roll that would take. Also, uh, Stone needs to use the uh, little men's room at some point. Oh, yes. Stone we're getting, does. We're getting very close Consumed. to that. Stone? So you're, you're good. Um, oh, stone yes, needs give me, Stone's give me, operator, give me, yeah. Stone, give me an intelligence roll, please. Can do. Or an educational roll. Uh, well, I already tried intelligence, and that was a failure. Okay. Um, you know that if you blow this whole room up, it's just going to be one big bang. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. That's Pinky, really you can you tell about. Dragomir that we will be... F do it. I said, and that's really all you care about. Am I back in the tank yet? Oh, yeah. Uh, well, if Pinky is approaching after parking the tank... <laughs> Uh, Pinky, can you tell Dragomir that we will be fine after blowing this to high hell? Dragomir, get in! <laughs> I'm already Come on. in. Come on! She, oh, she's already, oh, she's already, she's already, already here. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So, Dragomir, you're gonna man the big gun because you're you're the you're the sniper. You're you're the best shooter of the group. Fucking Stone, you're gonna reload and you're also gonna work the top hatch and I'm gonna drive. That's that a very a different question. gun. It oh, you'll figure it out. <laughs> it, 
that that joystick goes to the right and that one goes to the left. You just got to move them accordingly and then aim up your if shot down that we little were scope. Talking there. about the percentage of me succeeding at operating some sort of heavy machinery, I have about a 31% chance of success. <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> also, I just, I just it's know, a marksman skill. It's not a. I just now consider this. Uh, Dragomir, could I please borrow that ladder back? Why? Unless Why? you would like to. Uh, see, I believe gasoline might give us a little bit of time if we were to light a trail uh, from here to to said fuel tanks. You're literally going to kill us all. No. This plan no, of yours. No, I like your thinking. This glory like mission you want to do. Thank you, Pinky. I got this it. I got it. No. The easy. We we do it. We do a gasoline trail, right? And then we go up on the elevator, and then we light this rag that I have, and we just light this dirty rag, and then just drop it down, and but we're gonna we're gonna be up there. Uh, Keeper, can Stone hear anything uh, that's not happening in the cave? Maybe up the elevator, Give me or a out the uh, Give me a listen roll. Of course. Yeah, not I want to point out that there were explosions. 335 extreme success. Did not expect that. Uh, you still hear a kind of faint alarm going off in the distance high above you. Um, and you you hear uh, kind of rumbling noises. And that's really all. But you don't hear anything nearby or anything in this cave. Or if I should say a factory. Okay. So yeah, a gasoline trail would work great, but you know, gasoline lights really quickly. So as soon as you light it, it's gonna go. But we could light a gasoline trail up to the edge of the elevator, and then drop a rag down, or drop a a grenade or a stick or something to ignite it, and everything goes kablooey. Dragomir, all that what? I ask is that you live a little. When was the last time you operated a tank? Never. I'm a sniper, not a fucking tank driver. Exactly. <laughs> I now. want to live a little. That's why I don't like this plan. But it is two versus one, so I really don't stand a chance in winning yes. here. We all have the same intentions at heart. I just Keeper, hope the dragon does not find out that you disobeyed his direct order. How, Keeper, how much? Getting rid of everything, I promise you. How much ammunition do we have for the tank? Do we have enough rounds? Um, I will let you know that you have eight rounds in this tiger tank. Okay. Eight. All right. Or, yeah. Did I say eight? Yeah. Eight 88 yeah. millimeter rounds. Cool. Cool. And the side gun, the one that's sitting next to the driver's seat, how much is that loaded? Uh, there is no side gun, sadly. Oh, there's no side gun. Wait a minute. The MG42 has not been made. Uh, okay. I Actually, Pinky, Dragomir, we might have a solution to everyone's problem here. This elevator goes from top all the way to the bottom. We can delay our goals. How about we take the elevator up, scan our surroundings, if Dragomir's right and shit isn't foobar, then we come back down, blow everything up, take the tank to the, to the airfield, drop a grenade in, blow the tank up, fly home. Where's the airfield? Not here. Keeper. It's about a mile away from the castle. Uh, close. Fuck. It's the close to the uh, the coastline. It's very cold outside. We're gonna need the fucking tank. <laughs> yeah, Anya's on board. <laughs> Don't call me that. We're all just right. gonna take a look around. <laughs> That's all it's gonna be. All right, so what is the game plan? Fuck if I know. Elevator to the top, and then back down and out the door. Let's hope this elevator is a jam. All right. Oh, don't say that. So are you blowing up anything? In Apparently the not, not yet. yet. Uh, so Stone is saying not yet. He has no intention until we come back down. Okay, and so are you going back up to the almost like dining hall, or are you going to try to go up to the top? Uh, if his team is with him, uh, all the way to the top. Okay. Boop. 
I'm with you till the end of the line. <laughs> and as the elevator rises, the tank goes with it. The tank is still turned on, and we have the agents of KB stuck inside. I'm in the driver's seat. They go past all the rock formations that take hold of this cave and underneath the castle. And they go past the dining hall of the new German fortress. And then, if we're, if one of them were to peek up outside of the hatch... I do. Okay. I absolutely would be looking. Perfect. You notice that <laughs> the ceiling to the dining hall opens, and you can see the sky. It's about morning time now, so you can see sunlight coming in. And as the tank rises to the top, you begin to see the fortress walls around the castle. And as the tank emerges, Dragon, are you still up? In the, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, instead of using the gunning seat, I have my rifle and I'm out the hatch. Okay, so you're up in the tank commander's hatch. Is anybody looking out the gunner's seat or anything? Yeah, if there's a seat open, he'll take it. Okay. And as so. you come out, what you witness is an entire platoon of Waffen SS soldiers at the ready. <laughs> and in the middle of them, you see the field marshal whose stomach has been obliterated. Hold you. And he looks at the agents of KP who are stuck a in a tiger tank and go. Ah, welcome back, Furline. And with that, we are going to go to break, and we're going to come right back, all right? We all, all right. good? We, we want to go take a little tinkle break real quick? Oh, <laughs> that, that is necessary, yes. Yeah, especially after that. Awesome. So we'll be right back. Thanks for everybody hanging in with us, especially with our technical difficulties earlier. But we'll be right back after this break. Stay tuned. Kluger the second and he looks uh, at the tank and sees the young Dragomir up at the top of the tank commander's hatch and says ah welcome back Fairline." I just pop a shot off <laughs> well first give me a spot hidden okay uh, would that 41, count for... 75 success never mind you see the field marshal look down at the cavity, the hole that was made earlier from the prior dealing with him, and you notice that this hole in his chest begins to form back. Almost entirely inhuman. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the switch and then go down. Okay, and the elevator begins to go down. <laughs> <laughs> And you, you hear what the fuck, Pinky? You hear off in the distance, you hear the uh, Von Kruger go, Nine! And you hear <laughs> all the Waffen-SS troopers start unloading their rounds onto the tank. 
I go close in. Close the hatch! I close, close the hatch. hatch. Close it! Back into Castle Hammerstein, going past the dining hall, back in towards the cave, and begins to stop after a couple of minutes below the castle. Blow it up. Into so the we're castle. blowing this entire fucking place to smithereens. Did we kill that motherfucker? Move. I'm pretty the, sure. Move. I'm like looking behind you, me because the thing's behind me. Move the turret. Move the turret. <laughs> I don't fuck it. All right. Blow up uh, the thing we, with the turret. Did, <laughs> are we did driving to towards? Else? Sorry. Go ahead. He had a fucking hole in his stomach. He had a hole in his stomach, and now he does not. We're not driving anywhere. We're we're turning the turret around so it's pointing at the fuel tank. How about Pinky? I, I appreciate Wait. that, but can we first get to the tunnel exit before we blow the shit up? Because I Wait. prefer not to drive through it. Put a full fuel tank on the edge of the elevator. We move the tank to the other side. We bring it up. We blow it up when they're all around it. We have to now move quickly, and tanks. I'm getting out of the hatch. <laughs> oh shit! Oh, that's not a bad idea. I'm running uh, to Pinky, one of the fuel tanks. Get the tank to the exit. We can handle it. All right. You're taking it to the and exit. Where's the exit? Yeah, it's not oh, was down there here. not a There's wait? What did you? Down here. Uh, no, we're on the elevator, dude. That's so all we can do. There's an elevator, and the entrance to the cave is at the right. elevator. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. Okay, I thought you so described like an exit. If, if okay. you want to give me another spot hidden roll, which is the name of the game tonight, just a bunch of <laughs> spot hidden roll. <laughs> What's well, always the name of the game? Ooh, that's a failure. Should I do one as well? Yes. Uh, 1975 hard success. Ah, oh, it's a good Ooh. band. You know good and well Wonderful there band. is no other we could, exit in yeah. this part of the cave. We yeah. could we could trick them. Send the tank up on we its have own. Two tiger tanks. We have two tiger tanks that yes, look identical. We fucking do. And so we could blow one up, we get to the middle level, we blow one of up, we drive the other tank out, and then in that blown up one up to the top they will be like what <laughs> or just the empty one we don't have to blow it up yeah but that would be giving them a tank so we maybe blow it up that. we blow, we blow it, it up and we then we send it up and they'll be like what's going on and then we drive out what's to say they're not on the second level waiting for us right now eh? i vote that we, we go have a with, tank. The, with the fuel plan we we put the fuel there Maybe the tank next to the fuel for more insurance that something explodes. And then we blow them all up. And then we ride out into the sunset. Keeper, or uh, die trying. Can, can Stone rack his brain? And is the only exit uh, at the very top there uh, where the uh, field commander or marshal oh, or this motherfucker will drive through a wall um, you will know that um, oh yeah, yeah i'm not gonna make you roll for anything but you know that this going to the very top of the castle is the only way to get the tank out fuck okay that's what i was thinking so it, yeah all right not with that <clears throat> attitude <laughs> he'll relay that and uh I mean, I think that's the only choice we have is to blow something up when we get up there. We move a fuel tank onto there. We park the tank next to the fuel tank. That's more explosions. They're waiting for us. The more, the longer this takes, the more prepared they are to fight us when we get back up there. Yeah, well, uh, same goes for us, I imagine. Is there any other weaponry keeper uh, in terms of firearms? Something that can be carried. So let me get this straight, Anya. You want us? To, oh, my internet connection is unstable. Oh, oh, I don't great. like that. You're okay, Pink. You're still with us. <laughs> yeah, you're still with us. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, um, so you're saying we we blow up the tank down here. We send this tank that we're in all the way up to the top, and we blow it up when it reaches the top or we we blow it up now and then send it to the top we put everything on the elevator we're on one side of it one corner the other tank and the fuel tank is on the opposite corner from us when we get up there it will be on the side they are on if we put it in the right position it when we blow it up it will blow at least some of them up we run over the rest 
we succeed in our mission of destroying one tank and then we also make it out with our lives hopefully in the tank okay in the tank we so will not destroy this, this one later up. i don't okay. think we can i don't think we have that option anymore okay Okay, let's get to work. What are we sitting around for? So what is the plan? That's I what I'm asking. <laughs> we're putting in one corner. We're going to be in one tank in the opposite corner of where everyone came from. And the corner closest to where the platoon is will be the other tank and also the fuel thing. Correct? Okay. Just to let you know that this kind of... Uh, Square diameter, I guess you're on on the elevator. Not big enough, can only it? can only hold one tank. Fuck. Yeah, okay. I was about to say we're not uh, working with the football this field here. Was. Cool. Uh, then I vote we blow this tank up down here and then we head back up. We blow this place and try to get out as quick as we can. Great. Let's put some. Let's make a trail of gas tanks going yep. to the elevator. We'll get to the second story and then we'll drop a grenade down. Perfect. They're very now we're talking. Right. Stone understands. Let's get to work. All right. So we're making a gas trail in preparation for dropping a grenade. Trail of gasoline, not a trail of gas tanks. They're very heavy. It will take too long to move them. Does it matter? Yes. Okay. It, it does, does matter. matter. I'll help Stone with the one <laughs> one gas tank making a trail. Okay. <laughs> and as both uh, Stone and Pinky begin to make the gas trail from the the cargo containers, where all the other gas canisters are. They make this trail all the way to the tank and the elevator. And how are you going to light this up as the elevator um, goes back up to the uh, roof? Do you have that rag? We got grenades. We're, we I have a rag. Dropping a steel hand granata as the elevator rises. Okay. All right. Is everybody ready to go up? Let's go. And as Let's the go. elevator begins to ascend up into the castle, Stone Hayes gets out into the commander's hatchet unhooks the bottom of the stick grenade and tosses it you got about eight seconds before that thing detonates and the elevator continues to rise above the rock formations and the tank hear, get back in the tank you hear an explosion <laughs> yeah, closing go the hatch. off <laughs> you hear an explosion go off as you extend or uh leave the um, interior of the cave and go out back outside where the platoon of Waffen SS troops and Field Marshal Maximilian von Kluger II is waiting for you. Real quick, as we're before we get to the top, before that ever opens, as we pass a Nazi banner, I hold the lighter out and set that motherfucker on fire. And the swastika banner begins to uh, blaze away. Is this in the uh, dining hall? Yes. Okay, so you're able to burn one of them. Hang on. And then I'm going to get back in the tank. Keeper, did that feel like a big enough explosion for everything that was down there? Uh, no, you just heard a grenade explosion. Oh, no. It didn't ignite anything. I think we fucked up. And as you back continue down. to go up, <laughs> you reach the top. And the Waffen SS troops begin to shoot again. But then you feel a jolt on the ground and you hear a very very loud rumble and the drive, Waffen SS drive. stop and you see Maximilian von Kruger with his eyes very wide what is this nine 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 nine, nine. and then on two, sides, on two sides <laughs> Of the the, uh, the opening the of the the castle, you see an explosion, almost like a, a volcano erupting. Uh, you see the Waffen SS troops up on the right and the left just go up, and your tank is blown out of the castle. <laughs> if everybody will give me <laughs> shit, wait. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got eight hit points. What are you doing? Oh, it was so big. We blew up the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> we blew ourselves. You, that's why the the episode's called "Lights Out at Castle Hammerstein." <laughs> oh my god! Lights out. If everybody will give me a strength roll, please. Okay. Uh, seven sixty hard success. Uh, Extreme success. Eighty rather. success. Nice. 
Oh, 570. Oh, yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Feels good. Excellent. Oh, yeah. And so Fuck all of you are in this tiger tank, and you have no idea what's going on, but you know you are falling in air because gravity, yeah, it's non-existent <laughs> at this moment. So you're falling in this tiger tank. <laughs> Falling, oh, falling, falling, and then you hit the ground, but all of you, with your experience, know to hold on to something and to protect your head and any other vital um, parts of your body, and the lights in the tiger tank go off, the engine shuts off. Then, the tiger tank, you feel the ground beneath you break open. And you feel the tank go in, and you hear a little bit of water, rushing water. Oh no! I'm immediately. No! <laughs> I'm gonna reach up for the hatch. Do I open it, or nope. are we secure in here? No, this is not. This is not water. It's not waterproof. It's not airtight. It's gonna right? leak. It's not airtight. No. We need to get out. Uh, yeah, we gotta get out. Uh, what? Oh, uh, what? Real quick, keeper. What does Stone see out of the gunner's viewport here? Um, in the where the MG42 would eventually be. Uh, does the uh, turret not have a? Okay, you're looking uh, at the turret. Port? You you see water. Oh, you see, okay. Uh, you see Thanks. a couple of ice blocks, and now you see water that has been uh, broken open by the where the tank is sitting in what you believe is a river or a lake or something. It's a bad time to say that my swim is twenty. That's, that's there wasn't a lot of swimming a, in this Serbia. This is a very awkward time to say that. That there was not a lot of swimming in Serbia. You have um, swim? Well, oh, that's what it is. Serbia. All right. Uh, All right. Well, I believe we have one objective now, and that is to reach an airfield. Get the fuck so... out. I don't Do I open the hatch? Leave? No. Do I open the hatch? Yes, open the hatch. Okay, I open Everyone it. Hold your breath. Save yourself. And, um, yeah. Okay. Are I'm you... holding my breath and opening the hatch. Okay, um, well, I mean, you don't have to hold your breath. The, the tank is still out of the water. It's just the front oh, end that's God. still inside the, the moat of where the castle oh, thank God. is. Um, but it was frozen <sighs> over, but the weight of the tank broke the ice um, that was over the uh, nice little moat. Um, but it's sticking oh, out. The front of it is in, and the tank is pretty much at this point bogged down. There's no way to get it out. Oh, that's fine. That's totally fine. All right. We get out. We throw a grenade in this one, too. We blow this one up, and we go. Yeah. Where's the field marshal? At this point... I'm looking for him. Give me a spot hitter. Yeah. Stone hit. 1175 the grenade. extreme success. So we're not swimming? You see the castle exploding all to, no. around you. Again, just like a volcano erupting. You see castle pieces going everywhere. Stone flying everywhere. Not stone haze. Actual stone. Stone <laughs> is flying everywhere. You see an object in the sky flying over you. Well, Helm scream? <laughs> um... Stone, hand me your grenade. Yep, yeah, fuck it. We don't have much time. Uh, what I'll is this object? Can I look through my scope and see? You may. I do that. I grab the grenade. That is Field Marshal Maximilian von Kruger. He has shot. wings. He has wings. You've never yeah. seen this before. Take. Can you please give me a sanity roll? Fuck. Oh, wait, you're serious. 3860 success. I mean, it's not good. You'll please Sorry, give Carly. me, uh, decrease your sanity by one point. All right. You don't understand why Maximilian okay, so... is flying. He has wings. You've never seen this before. I take a shot. Just instinctively. Uh, he he's very high up, so I'm okay. not even going to make you do a roll. Um, your, your shot, uh, is It's more nowhere. than 300 yards? Yeah, yeah. He, he's way up in the sky. Okay. The field marshal. He's. I think I hit my head. Yeah, probably. Well, I think we all did, considering we just flew about mm, approximately 100,000 feet in a tank. You so, need to move, but stay on your guard. Here's right. your grenade, Pinky. Yeah, thank shall you. Shall we? Clear the tank. Clear the tank. Clear the tank. So I'm going to open up the top hatch, and then. When I set this grenade, I'm going to chuck it towards the back a little bit to sort of go towards where the fuel is stored. 
it hopefully for a bigger explosion i'm well out of the way at this point okay yeah so when it does that i'm gonna you know okay let's say y'all have made it up onto the the bank of the moat uh away from the the water and the ice that is melting away because the weight of the tank and then all of a sudden you hear another small grenade explosion hit the tank you hear steel kind of break and then you hear a massive explosion. You see the tiger erupt in She's flames. She's dead. Yeah. And you also see the 88 uh, rounds start to explode also, and the tank explodes. Wonderful. She's All dead. Right. To text it down. She had a good run. We still you have the plans. the time you had. We still have the plans. We'll make Most importantly, uh, the Germans do not have the plans. But in the meantime, we all have a plane to catch, so I hope yes. you have kept up with your mild times, because Stone certainly has. With our what? Your mild times. You know, PT. Uh, I don't know if that is, it, you know, mm, taken as seriously in Russia, but, you know. I think there is some sort of translation thing going on in my brain. Um, We're going to run to the us- airfield. Go, yes. Okay. <laughs> Everyone will give me a navigate or a See, this is, natural world role, please. This is why I like playing someone that isn't ESL or is ESL because I can just fucking, yeah, that's a 4410 failure. Um, no, no, yours was a 17. Yours was a 17. 17 mine, was, mine was a 4410. Sorry, I thought it was mine. Mine was a 1710 failure. Uh, does anyone have a map? Wait, do we get a map of the Anybody Eastern got area? a map? Anybody got a <laughs> We do have a map. Um, I'm surprised. We are barely given anything. So as you are on this bank, as the tiger is erupting behind you, you also notice that the tiger's the the tank top has blown off and hit the other side of the bed. And at this point, the tiger is pretty much done for. Okay. You so notice sad. that this moat does have to empty out somewhere, and you know the coastline is uh, somewhere on this map also. So you can nope. either go straight or back. Ah, uh, so the moat empties out if we were to... We would assume the moat empties out if we were to keep following it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. We do that. Okay, you're All going right. straight. Yep. Okay. And as the agents of KP walk... Are y'all walking or running? I'd say we're hauling ass. Okay. <laughs> and as yeah. the agents of KP haul ass down to the coastline, they did make the correct choice they start noticing that the moat is emptying out into the mouth of the coastline. But before they get to the mouth of the coastline, they do see the stretch of land, the only stretch of land that's nice and flat to hold an airfield. And on that airfield, they see a plane and its propellers going. All right, we approach it, hopefully. It's going to be oh, yeah. James Bond. <laughs> you also We're notice that a bunch of the bond. hangars are on fire. You could probably yeah, it's guess. James bond. We're good. <laughs> you could also guess that these are the explosions you probably heard earlier. Oh, yeah. Okay. Give me a listen mm-hmm. roll, please. Everyone. 760, extreme success. We even need to try. <laughs> I hear everything. Failure. She does. Mark on wood. All of a sudden, in all three of your minds, you hear a voice. You think that I would let you escape so quickly and so suddenly, agents of KP. I am Maximilian von Kruger II. I know who you are. My grandfather. He knew who the agents of KP were also. You might think I'm from German descent, but I am not all German. And then Dragomir looks up as Maximilian von Kruger comes down at her. If everybody will roll for dex, please. Ah. Roll for dex or just give you our turn order? Just turn order. Turn order, please. Okay. Can we just click turn tracker? Yeah. Sure. Does that work? 
yeah, on the combat page, it just shows you what your initiative is. Hmm. If you have a token, you click on your token, but we don't use tokens. So that's cool, though. Okay, what is yours? Mine is 80. 80, and then Stone Haze is 60. Okay. It is. All right, so right, we'll press do the it again. Oh. So uh, we'll have Dragomir go first. We will have Stone Haze go second. Then it will be the Field Marshal, and then Pinky. So, Dragomir, it is you your got my chance. Rich. All right, so we're facing off against a, okay. someone who just descended up, down upon us. Yeah, I'm going to instinctively just take a shot, like pull my rifle and shoot. Okay. Uh, now, this is playing against us, um, but for the sake of uh, Hudson's you know, first game that he's keeping, would we not... Uh, sorry, Trevor, would Pinky and Stone not have a sanity roll? I'm sorry. Damn it. Would uh, Pinky Nothing. and Stone not have a sanity roll like, uh, like? Anushka oh yes, is? thank you, thank you for correcting. Yeah, 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 yes, please. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, both but, uh, Pinky okay. and Stone have. I knew I was forgetting <laughs> something. Yes, give me a sanity roll. Yeah, I got you. I had, buddy. I got Good a, job, Matt, the for being the narc for Pinky. I know. I'm, I'm like <laughs> the, the hall monitor over here. Okay, so it's okay. both y'all, y'all, y'all both uh, succeeded. So please uh, subtract one point from your sanity. You have no idea what this this creature or man that is flying out of the air onto Dragomir, what, what he is or what he's doing. You've never seen anything like this before. So I didn't hit my head, and then I... It appears you did not, but to be honest with you, Max, I don't care who you are or where you came from, but boy, you picked a stupid-ass name. Um... All right, and so you're shooting, Adam. you're shooting Maximilian. Yes, that is a hard success with the rifle. That is a 40 versus 80, uh, 13 damage. Okay. And you shoot him right between the head, and he goes back and then does a flip back to you and grabs you and says, You cannot kill a vampire count so easily, Fairline. What the fuck? <laughs> What in the Sam hell? So he's like right next to me? He's grabbed you. He's right in front of you. I don't have time to pull my knife, do I? No, you do not. Okay. You could dodge or try to dodge, but... Yeah. This guy, um, he, you shot him right in the head, and he went back and pretty much flipped and then came right back at you yeah. and grabbed you. Okay. I want to try to, like, kick him away if I can. Okay, can you basically I just want to get away from him. Yeah, can you give me a power roll, please? Oh fuck. Uh 7550 failure. You cannot get away. He he has got you. Okay. Cool. Okay, so That's now my turn. it is uh Stone Haze's turn. Stone is going to pull his trench knife from uh, his calf there. Walk up behind our new friend Mac. And does he have hair on his head? Um, yes. It is well actually no no no, he's bald. He's bald. Just have to look at the picture real quick. Okay. <laughs> uh in that case he is going to um Yeah. He he's okay, so he's like here, I'll pull up the picture again. Remember um, kids. It's on a all villains playing. are bald. It's true. But he, he kind of has a little bit of hair, but he is balding. Oh yeah, he's very was, receding. Okay, <laughs> shit. <laughs> Um, <laughs> a lot of stress in Castle Hammerstein. Damn, he looked like my dad. Happy Father's Day, though. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes uh, shout out to all the fathers out, uh, out there. there you know, you happy go. Father's Day. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, in that case, um, Stone blew the torso off of this thing. He saw his shot go through its brain. Uh, so what I, what he's actually going to do is go ahead and um, instead of uh, we'll scratch that knife part um, <clears throat> he's going to take a shotgun and put it to the temple while he's holding on to uh, Anushka and pull the trigger okay, your roll for that please 
Okay, we're looking for a combat roll? Mm -hmm. Yes. 2260 hard success against the temple there for 14 damage. And as Maximilian holds Dragomir, he begins to open his mouth and you can see these large vampire fangs begin to come out. And at that moment, as he's about to strike and bite Dragomir, Stone Haze's shotgun barrel goes up to the head and takes a shot and blows Maximilian across the way. Maximilian shakes himself off and looks at Stone Haze very angry and has a huge gaping hole in the side of his head though. But what you notice the Sam Hill are you? You notice the hole begins to form back out. Sure fuck. And now are, are you done, Stone Haze? Um Shit, yeah, he doesn't, uh, he could take another shot, um, because that's his only option right now. So whatever good it'll do, uh, he'll fire once more for failure. Okay. So there's a failure, so you try to shoot again at Maximilian, and Maximilian is very quick, almost like the speed of light. He dodges it. It's like a blink of an eye, and you'll miss it. He's gone. And then you notice he's right behind you, Stone Haze. And he's going to attack you. And he's going to use one of his special powers, which is a vampire bite. Great! Huh. So if you'll make Dodge a power failure. roll for me, please. Alright. 40-50 success. Okay. Thank God. And as... The vampire count goes in to bite Stone Haze. Stone Haze is able to notice and feel the breath coming in on his neck. And Stone Haze reaches around and grabs the vampire count and slings him over his shoulder onto the ground. And now I'm going to get one more attack and he's going to do a vampire slash. Vampire slash. <laughs> Pull this up real quick. Ooh, 43, 45 success on a dodge there. Yeah, but I get a, an extreme success, so... Oh, that's not good. Yeah, that's oh, great. very not good. <laughs> so give me one second. Let me tally this up. So it's uh, 2d6 plus 1. So you'll take 9 points of damage. Oof. As the count comes in with these very long fingernails and scratches at Stone Haze's face leaving these three slashes almost a very uh, handsome wound he'll probably think to himself later on in life that will probably attract the ladies he's got to get out of this first that is true all right and pinky it is your turn how are you going to engineer engineer your way out of this so he's a vampire I don't know what Pinky knows about vampires. We don't know what Pinky knows about vampires. However, Does in my come? possessions, Pinky is... I don't know. Maybe. Um, Pinky is carrying around an adjustable wrench, a pocket knife, a wristwatch, a lockpicking set, the violin case, Thompson typewriter, a gutted Bible that holds the lockpicking set, uh, cigarettes, lighter, dirty rag, hammer and i i probably lost the german shovel um but anyway gutted bible <laughs> i'm thinking about taking this gutted bible out and like holding it up against them you know because this is some superstitious stuff and i'm thinking the bible will work even though you know it doesn't have everything in on the inside what what's on the cover maybe, of the bible I don't know, just like a cross and something that says Holy Bible. Okay. It's for smuggling things. But this dude is wearing an iron cross, right? That is correct. Okay. Is it the yeah. Axis cross? Might not work. It'd be a, a Nazi German iron cross, yes. Yeah, so it's not a I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Bible trick. 
with with wrench in one hand and Bible in the other, just like <laughs> the power of Christ compels you. Give me a right? luck. So, like, give me a stop. luck roll, please. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Scream gosh. at it. Well, I don't happens. know anything oh. about Russian vampires, only Romanian ones. So this is. I failed. Damn. An eighty-seven versus eighty. <laughs> You, you can. Oh, well, it was you, worth a try. Yes. Um, okay. And as Pinky goes up and places this Bible on the, are you putting it on the head of Von Kruger? Sure, wherever. I don't care. However, like, <laughs> just smack it with it. I don't care. Von Kruger, all you <laughs> hear works. is, <laughs> what is this? You must be joking. And grabs the Bible and looks at it and tosses it over his shoulder and then grabs oh. you, Pinky. You'll make a power roll, the... please. This I got the other, I got the wrench in the other boy. hand. I swear to God. I succeed with the power roll, 40 versus 60. Okay. Because my wrench. Getting real lucky. All right. And you want to use that wrench? Sure. Yeah. I'll beat him with the wrench. And that's actually a weapon. Since you succeeded, I'll let you uh, do that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, well. 30 versus 25. Oh, well. You hit Von Kruger on the head. And he looks at you and goes, You are very pathetic. Back to you, Dragomir. <laughs> um, okay. Oh. I want to take out my knife. And try to slice this motherfucker's throat. I can't behead it. It's just a combat knife. But I'm trying to basically no, start beheading this thing. Okay. Because I don't know what else to do. And Russian... From what I understand, Russian vampires are very different. They're called like Upir or something. I actually do know a little bit about these. Um, do you or Anushka know about Sounded it? Irish. Yeah. Upir... Mm, <laughs> I don't know Russian. <laughs> but... um. I only know Romanian vampires, as I said. So I'm just gonna try to behead it. So combat knife, I guess. Okay. Um eighteen fifty hard success, that's five damage. And Maximilian, you are so Dragomir goes up with this combat knife. With all of her might, she goes up to Maximilian and cuts. Are you hitting from the back? Or the front or the side. The back. You're hitting it. From it's like the an back. attack on Titan. Like okay. I'm going for the nape. <laughs> and this combat knife sticks into the the back of the neck of Maximilian. You hear this very inhuman roar escape the mouth of Von Kruger, and you can tell that this hurt him. That was five points of damage. Yes. Okay. I think that actually did something. I only have one attack with that, and I'm going to back the fuck up from this man. Okay. And your combat knife is stuck in the the back of the neck of Maximilian. But it it's right. deep. It's deep. It's about halfway through the neck. Cool. Stone, this is Stone your area Hayes, of expertise. I see a smile. It's your turn. It sure is. Stone, now seeing that that hurts, he's going to take his trench knife out and with a little bit of backyard intuition, uh, thrust his knife to into the front of his neck, pull back while pushing on the other knife left by Anushka there. Okay. 2750 success with the trench knife. With one now for damage. damage. Just one damage. Awesome. So as Stone Haze plunges his combat knife in to the front throat of Maximilian von Kruger, you see blood just start spewing out of von Kruger's mouth, but it's this black, oily uh, blood. He's still standing, though. He's still standing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> now it's Maximilian von Kruger's turn. And he sees Pinky, even though he has both these knives in his throat. And Pinky looks very tasty right now. And so, Pinky, can you give me a power roll to escape the vampire bite? 
Um, actually, Pinky doesn't look tasty. His appearance is forty. <laughs> Give me a power I'm, roll. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Forty-one versus hey! sixty. Excellent. Oh, you're getting lucky. Man. As Von Kruger <laughs> goes to sweep in, Pinky rolls away, escaping the the grasp of Von Kruger. But Von Kruger sweeps up to make one more attack with his vampire slash. Mm. Which is a failure. <sighs> okay. Lucky mother. So now it is your turn, Pinky. I am running to the plane. Specifically towards the propellers. Yeah, good, good, good man. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> Pinky, this is all right. This will be your only use for this uh, this uh, round. Yeah, He's just running away. Okay, all right. So yeah. Pinky begins to run Please. towards to the airplane, yeah. and uh, Commander Bond is in the pilot seat of the plane, and he sees a commotion out in front, and he's like, "Good gracious, what are these agents of KT got <laughs> themselves into? Why is that young?" fellow running towards the plane propeller <laughs> shocked positively shocked <laughs> isn't that what indiana jones did in one of his movies like i'm pretty sure perhaps perhaps <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> trevor knows how to make me happy <laughs> uh just george lucas movie references yeah i know i know that's it <laughs> So you run. Now we're back to Dragomir. Um, I'm going to. <laughs> this is stupid. My knife is still embedded in him. I want to take the butt of my rifle and hit the knife. Try to kind of go push it in more. Okay. Um, I don't know what that would be. <laughs> if you, it would be. It should be a brawl roll. Okay. Yeah. Um, shit. My brawl is only 25. This is fine. Because I put combat knife as its own fighting skill, but would combat knife technically be brawl? It would be brawl, yeah. Okay, so it would be 50. So I'm just going to roll combat knife, just because yep. I already have that in there. Uh, failure, 52 versus 50. I'm not spending luck points again this okay. session. And you said you are using the butt of it to drive the rest of the yes. knife in. So as yes. you go, you use all your might to take the butt of your sniper rifle to plunge the rest of that knife into the neck of Maximilian, but Maximilian senses you, and almost like time standing still as you're driving the butt of it into his neck, you see him spin around looking at you almost in slow motion. He's moving at average speed, and you're moving very slow. And he dodges your attack. Fuck. Stone Haze, it's your and turn. I say that. I go, bleh uh, Bliet. As, <laughs> as, uh, as he turns away from Stone to face uh, Dragomir, Stone would like to go in for a uh, kind of a, a an attack with a grapple. So holding on, wraps his hand around his forehead and okay. starts to pull that trench knife back. Okay, if you'll give me a brawl, please. You got it. Uh, just a brawl or a trench knife? A brawl. Since okay. it's primarily you're using most of your strength, uh, pulling the head back. Uh, pulls the head back for 1650 hard success on that brawl. Okay. Nice. Alright, and if you'll just roll damage for that uh, knife, we'll take whatever. You got it. Even if it's a... Okay. So, two points two. of damage. All right, let me... Okay, so as you start pulling and plunging that knife deeper into the neck of Maximilian, you notice that the skin is very tough, and his neck is also very tough as you pull his head backwards, and he just continues to laugh. <laughs> you, you feeble humans... You think I would easily go down like this? Now it is the Count's turn again, and he's turning his sights back to Pinky 
as he throws Stonehaze back away from him, and he darts across the airfield towards Pinky. Pinky's halfway to the uh, airplane. <laughs> Running, and man! So if you'll give me another power roll, please. All right. Oh, yeah. 26 versus oh. 60. 60. Oh. As Maximilian goes, Pinky once again drops to the dirt, and Maximilian misses Pinky. And now Maximilian is in between Pinky and the uh, airplane, but they're still kind of uh, a little bit of ways away from the airplane propellers. And Maximilian is going to make one more attack, and it's a vampire slash, and it's a failure. And now it is your turn, Pinky. I, I'm i still running. Um, I, I could juke him. <laughs> I want to try to run past him. Okay. We've gotten severely lucky up from the moment we met him till now. So yeah. let's make a luck roll. All right. Oh, do we have oh, to? Oh, God. <laughs> Just, just pinky. That wasn't a cube. <laughs> okay, seventy-six versus eighty. Whew. You're able to juke Sheesh. this vampire count. Yeah, he's a little old, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. Cool. And you begin to right, yeah. running towards still, the propeller. Still running. There's nothing else I can do. <laughs> All right, and we're back to Dragomir. Um, if I'm watching this, I'm just gonna start running after them. Like, there's not much else I can do. So. I mean, I guess I could slow him down by shooting him, but I don't know how much that would help, so I'm just going to keep running after okay. them. All right, so Stone Haze. Uh, he'll do the same, but he's going to start making an attempt to communicate with whoever is the pilot of this plane um, to make it clear, maybe by a wave of the arms and then pointing at the uh, the count here. To try to make it obvious this is what we're dealing with. But God. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> let me see. Good Lord. You'll give me an intelligence roll, please. Intelligence? 4950. Whoo, success. That was Good close. Lord. And Commander Bond sees your notification of you know your arm waving and everything he knows that you're notifying him about whatever is going on on the airfield but he doesn't really understand what your full intentions are so he begins to turn the plane around to where it could exit easily off the airfield and you're not in front of the propellers Shit. so he is turning the plane around Now it is uh, Maximilian uh, well, von Kruger's turn. And he is going for Pinky as the plane is turning around. Pinky, once again, give me a power roll, please. This one's not going to be good. I know it. I can feel Shut it. Up. It's yes, going it to be good. It's going to be good. Okay, thank God. I was 19 versus 60. Yes. <laughs> and once again, you're able to dodge the. This episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> once again, you're able to dodge the bite of the vampire count, but he is going to try to slash you again. Yeah. And that is also a failure. So now oh, we boy, are man. back to you, Pinky. I'm rooting okay. for this guy. <laughs> Am I at the plane yet? <laughs> uh, yes. You're close. Yeah. You're at the tail of it. I'm at the tail. Okay. I'm going to run up towards the propellers and then collapse sort of under them. Like, I tripped. Oh, I tripped. <laughs> Please give me a luck roll. All right, let's try to put into the motherfuckers. I know, right? <laughs> oh my god, can you Oops. imagine? Okay, oh. thirty-three versus eighty. I'm good. And as you How? trip and fall down, Maximilian goes and hits the propeller, taking some damage. All right, <laughs> fuck. Four points of um. damage thought that would be more dramatic yeah me too <laughs> <laughs> he said owie, <laughs> owie, owie. <laughs> so we're back to dragomir now at this point um what's near the propeller and near fuck it i just i don't know what else to do so i'm gonna take a shot at his neck if i can okay 
And which uh, gun are you using? Uh, my sniper. Sorry. Okay. I should say that. I have five rounds before I have to reload. Uh, that's a 3580 hard success, 11 damage. Very nice. This thing does 2d6 plus four, I just want to say. <laughs> this so is why I like points a sniper. damage. Excellent. So you aim down the scope as you see the plane going down the airfield, as you see Pinky trip and fall in front of the propellers, and you shoot down the scope at Maximilian, and you see this big hole just burst through his neck, and both of the knives kind of shatter in the neck, and kind of Shit. the handles like fly off and everything. But you can tell that his neck has become a little leathery, and is kind of flopping everywhere. That was my good knife. He's hurting. <laughs> and he turns around, looking at Stone Haze and Dragomir, and you can see where the propeller has shaved off his nose mm. and a, a little bit of his lips. And you see looking this like big skull. gaping hole, yeah. Gaping hole in his neck from your sniper rifle. Stone Haze, it is your turn. I didn't think it could get any fucking uglier. Uh, <laughs> is Stone able to? Uh, is he within distance of him after chasing after him? Uh, and brawling distance, no, but shooting distance, yes. Damn. Uh, man, I'm sorry. I'm thinking. Um, <laughs> don't hurt yourself. Uh Keeper, is it applicable to no never mind. I was gonna say if he could close distance well firing, but that's I'm not gonna bother with that. Um okay, we're gonna Tom, close it's the not distance. like there's an airplane about to fly off the airfield. No, no, yeah. that's what I'm I'm trying to think of every little detail. <laughs> I'm, I'm, messing, myself I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. Let's let's act as though uh, time has stood still again. Time, <laughs> time stands still. Oh, it definitely has. He's in bats right um, now. Yeah, we're just. Yeah, I, I, I actually, I, I played so much Fallout that I programmed only myself and not the world to operate in bats. <laughs> um, yeah, we're uh, we're just gonna close the distance. Um, we're not gonna take a shot. Bullets aren't doing anything to this, and Stone is getting a little frustrated. I don't know about that. Okay. And so you're just going to move instead of uh, attacking? I think this time, yeah, he's going to try to get his attention by getting closer. Okay. And Von Kruger, seeing Stone Hayes charging at him, accepts the challenge and looks at him with a very nasty grin and goes, Ah, challenge accepted as blood just spews out of his mouth, and he charges at Stone Haze for a vampire bite. Can you please make a power roll for me, please? My luck was not as good. 63.50. Let's see how much damage you take. The vampire bite. Vampire? The vampire bite is 2d10. Are you going to be a vampire now, Stone? 2d10 is not good. Well, Stone's about to be Ooh. dead. 16 uh, points of damage. Okay. And now you also take a okay. uh, vampire slash. Ah! Let's see no. if that roll. I did roll a successful dodge there. Okay, yeah, and it was also a uh, failure. Um, so you dodge that, but you do take 16 points of damage. As the vampire count grabs Stone Haze and looks at him and sinks his nasty teeth into the neck of this American trooper and begins to suck the life out of him. Stone, no! <laughs> this is going to be disgusting no! for Stone based on what Dragonbeer is going to do on her turn. <laughs> uh, what, what, uh, if I may ask, what is your health points right now, Matt? That two. All right, and now it is Pinky's turn. I'm going to climb to the top of the airplane. Like in inside or the very, very top, like outside? No, on, on top of it, on top of the wing. Okay. All right, so you're on the wing of the airplane. Is that, is that yes. your turn? Yes. 
thing. Okay. Yes. And Dragomir, we are back to you. <laughs> As the airplane is going down the field, you notice the wounded Pinky uh, using all of his strength to get on top of the wing, the left wing of the uh, the German airplane that is being flown by Commander James Bond. Okay, she's going to take a deep breath for like a half a second. And then she's going to... um. I don't know which one I want to do. I'm going to take a shot at um, the way I'm picturing it is there's like a piece of the head, like poking around stone Mm -hmm. that she can see. Okay. I want to take a shot at that because stone's dead either way. So 69 versus 80. Nice Uh, success. That's 10 damage. It's not going (laughs) to do much to him, but it might get him off of stone for a second. And as the vampire count is sucking the life out of Sixty Stone nine. Haze. <laughs> nice. Stone notices <laughs> the bite begin to release as he hears a crack. As the sunlight begins to shine over the land of Hammerstein and the coastline of Croatia as the sun begins to rise. Dragomir has shot through the last remaining bits of the neck Thanks of the fuck. vampire count. And Stonehaze kind of turns his head, and with a turn of his head, the vampire count's head rolls off his body, ending Gross. the line of the Von Krugers. <laughs> I'm taking off running. As I pass Stone, I kind of start pulling him along. I reach down, scoop up the head with my other hand, and I'm running to the plane. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and Stone's given everything, given everything to uh, to follow along. I should probably also get inside the plane. All right, probably. And everybody safely gets inside inside the plane, <laughs> and you hear Commander Bond go, "Shut the hatch, would you?" As Pinky shuts the the door close, as our agents of KP fly off into the rising sun, going back. To their homelands. They're met back up with their Captain Wesley Pendragon as he briefs them on their next missions. Uh, I must say, you are the agents that we did ask for and you did pull through. You were able to kill the field marshal and you were able to knock out the two tiger tanks that we asked for. I do ask that you do stay on with us. We could use your help. What do you say? How about next time you fucking tell us about the vampire? Yes. I put you in danger that I knew of. The agents of KP have been around for many, many centuries, dating back to the legend of King Arthur. You are knights of Pendragon. And you will face inhuman monsters and creatures on your operations. But you three have proven yourselves to be valuable assets. Well, it, and with that, uh, Captain Pendragon looks at all three of them and says, I understand the silence. I've been where, well, I've been in your shoes before. So I will let you have a couple of days to think about it. And Pendragon begins to leave outside the, the office door that he is sitting in. And I'm in. he turns back around and looks at Stone Haze and says, Hayes, I understand that you were bit by the vampire. You might want to stay out of the sunlight from here on out. As we go Uh, to Blackout. And that is the second episode of Octung Cthulhu. I do have a lot of things to reward y'all. Oh my god. If everybody... (laughs) 
will give each other 50 points in German language. <laughs> oh, shit. Good. We learned the whole language? Is that- <laughs> yes. You're I'm be, assuming we're getting training in You're, you're like going to get trained sessions. in German. Uh, thank you. Yes. That makes sense. Oh, language thank skills. You. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> you thank also God. get uh, an extra 15 points to uh, put wherever you need it. Oh, shit. Nice. Wait, how much do we get in German? Uh, 50 points in German, and then you get an extra yeah. 15 points wherever you need it. Making a note. Thank you, Matt. And then we get to level up as well, right? Uh, yes. Whatever you, um, whatever you cool. succeeded. Uh, um, level one. I'm gonna go ahead and start popping those. Give me just a second. And I just want to thank everybody who's come out and watched our first two episodes of Octoon Cthulhu. It's been great and amazing. It's my first time running as a keeper. And it's been such a great experience, and I can't wait to keep going through this whole storyline that we've created, and this whole cast of characters that I have at my disposal. Um, have y'all been enjoying the run? So yes. much. Perfect. Oh yeah. I thought we were definitely going to lose stone there. Uh, yeah. I have okay. For, I mean, for, I'm still not everyone, convinced that we're not. Um, stone. For everyone at um, home, I have 32 hit points, and I was down to two after that entire journey. You have. 32 uh, fucking hit points? So, at this point, at you betcha, at this point, Stone, um, I, I will, You know uh, how fucking hard it is to, t- to break horses in the dark? Stone, I'm gonna message you, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna message you privately to give you your rewards. Oh, man, that's what, I am so excited for my rewards. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you're gonna like these, so yes, yeah, Stone gets uh, a couple extra rewards. So, got it. Rewards and curses. Um... <laughs> All fun. right, that was um. Thank you. Yeah, I'll say um. You know, uh, again, reiterating what our fabulous keeper has mentioned. Uh, thank you for everyone uh, for tuning in to everyone. Yeah. For tuning in there. Um. I cannot wait for uh, to see where we go from here. Yes. Oh, God. Does anybody else have anything to plug while we're at it? Carly, Matt, Trevor? Uh, academia, I yes. guess. <laughs> yes, we'll be That's back. That's Tuesday. Yeah, this Tuesday. We'll be back with academia. Um, but other than that, uh, anybody else? Oh, shit. I just remember where academia left off, too. I know. I know. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. We're good. Okay. Well, I want to thank Chaosium and Modifius for producing both uh, Call of Cthulhu and Modifius for producing Octung. Uh, we couldn't be able to do this without their help. Um, so thank all of them. I want to thank our Patreon supporters and just thank the audience in general just for coming out and supporting us. Um, and so, what what is it London always leaves off with? Stay, Stay spoopy, spoopy, y'all. Okay. Real quick. Matt, do you want to play Lunch Lady? Do we want to stream Lunch Lady? We'll talk about that. Okay, cool. All right. And so, <laughs> so what did you say, Hudson? What's up? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so we will see y'all uh, anon and stay spoopy. Good night.